my good side. I don't know how to model breeches. Is this how you model breeches? Hey guys, welcome to the first of not very many tech hauls because I am a broke grad school student. But I wanted to show you guys what I got in the Smart Pack clearance. I got a few more breeches and some saddle pads. These are actually my very first pair of the Smart Pack Pipers breeches. And they are full seat, as you can tell. Sorry, I just got back from clinical, which is why I'm still in the scrub shirt. But they are tan and hunter green. And they also have the little socky bottom. They're pretty good quality. I like the Piper's breeches. The problem is with most full seats, and I'm sure everybody can kind of attest to them, they don't give you much room here, at least not for me. I'm kind of short and stocky, and my thighs and my butt take up a lot of the room in breeches, so a lot of full seat breeches, when you go to get on the horse, kind of feels like they might split in this general area, but I have that problem with every pair of full seat breeches that I buy, so these are not any different. If you were skinnier and in better shape, they probably would fit you great. But I think they're pretty, pretty snazzy. I like the hunter green, and they have a little cute little Piper's logo, and all the belt loops in the back also have the hunter green as well. So I like the detailing of them. These were on sale. I will put the price below and a link to everything that I bought down below. The next pair I got are also Piper's breeches. They are beige with the sea foam piping, so it's kind of like a aqua piping. They are the knee patch breeches. I will say the thing that I do enjoy about the Piper's breeches is they have nice deep pockets in the rear end and also the front. My whole hand can fit in these pockets. That's amazing because most breeches, you know, maybe like the tips of your little fingers can fit in the pockets. So I do really enjoy that and the quality feels pretty good. So we'll see how these hold up. Y'all, well, breeches do not flatter my big fat butt. So I don't really want to show you what the hind end looks like, but this, this is what the hind end looks like. It does have some flattering aqua piping. I'm sorry, sea foam piping is what they called it. And they have the cute little, there's the little horse. I don't know, somewhere on my butt is the cute little horse. Little, little Piper's horse. But that is also what I got. I needed some more breeches for showing because I'm planning on showing more this season. So I don't know, how, how are you supposed to stand? Oh, this is what I got. All right, the next set of breeches is Horse Z breeches and they are winter and they're fleece lined. Oh, it's so soft on the inside. So they're a thicker material and fleece lined on the inside and it's like a double layer material. So they are also the uh, sticky silicone bum. So it's not really the typical full seat breech, but it does cover the full seat area with a little sticky. So let's see how these look. I like these, these are cool. They are lots of free range of movement. You can do the can-can in them. That's good. I think like you'd have enough range of movement to ride a horse in them. Yeah, these are nice guys. I like these, I recommend these for sure. They're the horse, horse Z, horse with a Z. Um, and the little stickies I hope will hold up pretty well. I think as long as you don't put them in the dryer, you should be fine. But you don't get that weird, like, sensation of not being able to have enough room. So it's like a full seat without the restriction of the full seat. So I like them. They're pretty nice. They're really warm. I'll have to try them on a cold day. But so far, I feel like I'm about to break into a sweat here in the house. So I like them. Huh, cool. The only thing about them is there's absolutely zero pockets. So it's all, it's just a pull on. There's no zipper, no button, and no pockets. But they feel pretty warm, they're pretty good price, they seem like they're really good quality. So we'll see. They might be a little more flattering on my bum, I don't know. No breeches are flattering on my bum. I need to work on that. Here is a close up of the little stickies. 
One thing I will say about these is they are very thick down here where your boots go. So if you have very, and they're kind of slack in material. So if you have very tight fitting boots, this might not fit under your boots. But if you have like those slip on welly kind of boots that have a little room in them, then those will probably fit. And then I got a couple saddle pads, so let's check out the saddle pads. I got my first set of Smart Pack saddle pads, and I have to say I'm very impressed with the quality. This is an all-purpose pad, and this is a dressage pad. They both have that contoured spine to have room for the withers, and they say Smart Pack on the spine. They're very good quality. I think they're better quality than the standard Dover pad that does not have that contour. So I like them better. I'll compare the prices down below. The other cool thing about them is they don't have that stupid billet strap that nobody ever uses and you cut off anyway. So you don't have to cut that off. It's already off. But they do have the spot to put your girth. And this one is the teal binding. And this dressage pad has the hunter binding. So very good quality, their appropriate thickness, great quality for the price. I would actually recommend them over the Dover Saddle brand. I'm trying to be more matchy-matchy and the teal binding on this pad will actually match the teal piping on my new Piper's breeches. So and although I probably won't wear these breeches for dressage, the Hunter does match this pad almost, so that was kind of a happy coincidence when I ordered all of this. I really didn't plan for my breeches to match my saddle pad, but that's pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and see you guys next time. Bye!